Stale here. I've got such a mess in my studio today of sari for various things that I thought I would show you the sari ribbon. We sell a lot of sari ribbon and all sorts of forms, so I thought I'd show you that first before you, I show you the shambles I've got. We have uh, the ordinary um, plain colours, well, and they are in a myriad of colours so that when you've got this big collection like I do, I iron them out. I've got balls of colours and I take out the bits and pieces that I want and I iron them put them into whatever it is that I'm working on um, and don't worry about that. And then we also have uh, white for, uh, which is undyed, it takes dye beautifully, this is the, actually chiffon. I have, we have either silk fabric or chiffon fabric, it doesn't really matter, I like the chiffon but um, you can use it in so many ways. And then we have an undyed which has lace in it, it's just, you know, really, it takes dye really well but it's interesting and it's a, the, it's a cotton dye on silk chiffon background and then we have another one which has um, got its newsprint all through and I've used this in other work that I've shown in my videos and it's really quite interesting and fascinating and again iron it do whatever you like with it now we've got them they come in rolls which means that they've been ironed for you uh, and then we also have chiffon which has all these bits and pieces of uh, embellishments through which you can take out and use just lovely and things like Nuno felting, etc. And then we have our own hand dyed ones, which are just cool to die for, really, I guess. But what happened here is that I was deciding to do this because a friend showed me a picture of how to keep them so that you can use them. Now, these two cards are looking very good, but I've still got all of this to do and all of this to do. Um, in my spare time so I thought right, well while I've got this mess I would just let you see but I often usually iron them out and I take out the bits I want this is another one that I have not used but I'm getting ready to use it so it's just the colours that it comes in sometimes they you know this black this dark colour is really lovely for certain surfaces and, and so on and then when you've got it what do you do with it well you can knit it of course um, there's um, I've left, deliberately left the knots in and this could be stitched. You could knit it in with wool if you wanted to. You could add a, a strand of wool. But just the stuff, just the thing itself. So it makes great bags and little and very heavy scarves. But bags and little pouches, very, very nice. And a very another piece that I've made a long time ago is using some hand-dyed ones. And I've turned the, run them up to make them into roses. So there you can see here and how that's very effective. And I've just, to, it's, this one's been around for a long time, but it's just been stitched once down the middle and once across. It's pretty firm, pretty holds own, and I have washed it at one stage just to make sure that it would hold its own. So that's that big long piece. And then I've used them also for weaving, uh, not for weaving, for laying down and couching all over. And you can see where I've used some of the colors uh, to make some of the pieces to make uh, roses. Uh, it stitches down really well. The colours, the colours that you pull out, you can cut them however you want them or what you want to do. You're not restricted. And sometimes when you open up a uh, a roll of it, it's far more interesting than it was when it started. Sometimes it can be disappointing, but you can always add more colour over, paint on bits and pieces, do all those sorts of things. Then I've taken bits here and I've used them, uh, laying them down on a background and stitch them. So I've simply ironed them and I've bonded them to a surface like uh, using a fusible webbing. But picking up the interest that you like and once you start hand stitching into them or machine stitching, these have been had running stitch, it just adds that colour to the colour. Another one that I've used is to take, uh, try and get those colours of Lake Louise in Canada and you can see the dark, the, uh, the watery sort of colours and things that are there. And then um, I've probably shown some of these lots of times before, but I weave them a lot. That's one of my favourite things is to weave them up and stitch them down as backgrounds. On the backgrounds, then you can work more. This is another one which is, um, had been stamped onto and stitched. And yet another one that's been bonded to a, another background and stamped and so on. But this is using actually the chiffon which is what these are more than the, and how lovely they come up as a background. There's lots of stitching that could be done onto this, or it could be just a little book cover or whatever, you know, you, you feel like at the time. And this is again using the chiffon, laying them down and stitching on them to make a very heavily stitched, rich background. 
and thinking of things like uh, cutting it out for inserts, cutting it and weaving it again, or making little bags and all that sort of, you know, those sorts of things. So that's the sort of thing that I've been doing with uh, sari, mountains of it, mountains of different samples. And I hope that gives you a few ideas for what in your work. See you again.